Lube and the Swiss German diminutive Li, indicating something of small size. With a side length of 15 centimeters, it mainly consists of three reaction wheels, each attached to a brushless DC motor, motor controllers, inertial sensors, an embedded processor, and batteries. Inertial sensor measurements are fused to get an estimate of the tilt and angular velocity of the cubely, and the hull sensors provide the angular velocity of the reaction wheels. Based on these estimates, a nonlinear controller is used to balance the cubely on its corner, while the angular velocity of the reaction wheels is kept close to zero. Although this method of using reaction torques is similar to the one that is used to stabilize satellites in space, due to gravity, the algorithms used here are very different. With this setup, the cubely can robustly balance around its corner while rejecting disturbances. Rotate while balancing and balance on its edge. In addition, the momentum wheels can rotate at very high angular velocities and build up sufficient angular momentum. A rapid braking of the wheel allows it to transfer the angular momentum to the cubely's body. This allows the cubely to jump up from a resting position to a balancing position without external support. Balancing on a corner is achieved through two subsequent jump-up maneuvers. The first maneuver raises a cubely from one of its faces so that it balances along one of its edges, and the second raises it from its edge to one of its corners. In addition to balancing, the motor torques can be used to achieve a controlled fall, such that the cubely can be commanded to fall in a specific direction. Combining these three abilities, jumping up, balancing and controlled falling, allows the cubely to walk across a surface. Some researchers hope to use this method of locomotion for planetary exploration, while others are using it for self-assembling robots. But for us, it is just a cool little cube that can jump up, balance, and walk.